Hi right, again, I just wanted to show a quick demonstration of the uninitialized variable mistake that can happen. So if we, this, this, this is a uh, Linux machine, so as you can see, Linux. It looks like I'm running on Mac, but this is actually a remote session into another server. If you type, if I type you name here on this, this computer, you see Darwin, which means it's a Mac. Um, so let's just make a new file called um, uninitialized. fo8. And you put it in the standard boilerplate. So here's what happens if you have declare, this is called declaration of a variable. You declare a variable, but you don't initialize it, like this would be initializing it. If we don't initialize it, and then we print it, so this is our program, it, it's an uninitialized variable x, and then we're printing it out just to see what the vari what the value is when we don't initialize it. And keeping in mind that this is a Linux machine, this thing does not happen on Mac, although it, I think it does happen on Windows. So, compile it and run it. So we get that number. And let's run it again. You get a different number. So you get a different number each time. And that's because it's picking a random, I mean effectively random. It's reusing old memory is what it's actually doing. But it's picking a spot in memory and then it's assigning that to the variable name. And then the variable has that random data in it. <clears throat> and so that random data gets reinterpreted as a random number. And the, the same happens for um, file or uh, data types like real. So if we compile that again, we also get a random real number. So that's the uninitialized variable exception. Actually, let me show you it on Mac too, just to show how it doesn't happen on Mac. Actually, I may not even have Fortran on here. Nope. Okay. That's the whole thing. Thanks.